So we're about to get into a video from Jessica Dime. She's a rapper from Memphis, Tennessee. For the most part, she's known for being on the reality show Love & Hip Hop Atlanta. She was out with her husband at a seafood restaurant. It's called Pearl's Oyster House in Memphis. And she said one of the women working there had horrible customer service. But before we get into the video, check to see if you are subscribed to this channel. Click that notification bell for all updates. If you're new to the channel, include new subscriber in your comment below and I'll try my best to get back to all of you. Let's go ahead and get into this video. She said, uh, what we want to order cause ain't nobody else gonna come over here. They act like it's a pack house. I done been a waitress at the airport and everywhere else. And I'm up, I ain't never act like this. Hold on, how I flip my camera around? What's wrong? We in this live, you can't flip your camera around no more? Hold up, hey y'all. Hi. Yes, yes. Y'all yeah, know I don't never do this, but this got me f***ed up. Right playing wrong. Y'all like it? No, bro, that's And then you coming over here laughing. Is, is this the professional? What's going on? Look at her. You got employees working here like this? Screaming and hollering at the customers running around like she doing us a favor. She not doing us no favor. I'm not. Okay. You been talking. Was she not talking to you? You can talk loud enough for me, though. Which I did you spend. She need to go home. She need a break. She need a break. First thing, you have the manager, he came over, he's trying to defuse the situation by smiling and laughing and dime. She didn't like that either. You have an unruly Cruella yelling and screaming at your customers and the manager just didn't know what to do with the situation. A lot of restaurants and low skilled jobs like this, they're having a hard time trying to find people to even come to work. So they really need employees right now. Every since the shutdown of 2020, a lot of people don't wanna go back to work. Even the fast food chain Raisin Cane's tried to tackle the issue by sending their corporate workers to work inside restaurants across the country as cashiers and fry cooks. And they did this to help out their understaffed restaurants while also attempting to recruit 10,000 new employees. So I'm saying this to say that some of these Cruellas, they are not being checked because the companies need them to be there right now. But honestly, me, I don't care if I had to run a restaurant by myself. I just can't stand being around people like that waitress. She would have had to get sent home at that moment because not only was she disrespectful to the customers, the people spending their money there, but she was also being disrespectful to her manager. It is very difficult trying to run a business with these Corellas working inside of it. Now, according to Jessica Dime, she said that the woman came over to their table with a fresh attitude, being rude and disrespectful. And even when Jessica was trying to complain to the manager, you could hear her in the background yelling and running her mouth. These Cruellas are so out of control, they don't even know how to act at work. So how do you think she's acting at home? How do you think she's treating her kids? How do you think that she's treating a man? If she has one, that will stay around and put up with her attitude. Because usually at work, that's when they're on their best behavior. I've been a waitress before and she need a break. It's too much on her. Or she need to go work for the WWF. Because <laughs> <laughs> so if it's a mom, don't end up somewhere off. Not at all. Girl, yes, she is with that synthetic weed on. Sweating like a slave. I got y'all. What y'all want to eat? They want to drink it. I wouldn't have ordered anything from this place. The employee, she was out of order and because she wasn't removed from the room or the situation, things escalated. And it's a good thing that Jessica Dime is not like the old Jessica Dime that came from KOD in Miami or how she was on Love and Hip Hop Atlanta. She and her husband recently celebrated their fourth anniversary. They have only one child together. Jessica really appears to be a different woman in her 30s from what she was in her 20s. Here's the question. How do you handle situations like this when you're dealing with these Cruellas and their bad customer service? Let me know what you think below in the comments. Shout out to John Bax 
Rashid, and Sununu. Thank you all for your support for this channel. Want to see more content like this? You can support the channel as well. Links to Cash App and PayPal are below. Ladies, fellas, want a balanced analysis? Want the truth from a woman's perspective? Then you're going to want to subscribe to this channel and don't forget to like and share.